History in the making tonight, the College of William and Mary's first female president is ready to hit the ground running. Yeah, Governor Ralph Northam swore in Dr. Catherine Rowe this morning. A 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens asked Rowe about her plans moving forward. Dr. Catherine Rowe bringing in a new era at the College of William and Mary. It's um, an incredibly moving experience. My heart is full. For the first time in the college's 325 year history, a woman is president. Dr. Rowe replaces President Taylor Reevely, who served as president nearly a decade. Dr. Rowe says she plans to spend her first three months listening and learning from students, parents, faculty, and staff, and many more. And I want to hear from them what are their stories? How do they know this institution? How do they want me to know the institution? While it is summer break, that didn't stop a few students from stopping by to witness history. Seeing a woman in power finally um, after years and having been there to experience it was just amazing. Like sophomores Madison Wester and Amber Bowman, both making the drive from their respective homes for a chance to meet their new president. I'm just so excited to see more of her around campus. William and Mary became the first coeducational public university in Virginia in 1918. This year, the college honored the first 24 women to enroll as students which Bowman says makes this ceremony even more special. So just to see a woman kind of finish that off is like really empowering. And then she's also um, big on diversity and inclusion. That was one of her mission statements. Diversity and inclusion, something Dr. Rowe didn't fail to highlight. Who are the non-obvious folks that I should be talking to and meeting? Tonight, Dr. Rowe is embracing the college history and ready to make more. At William & Mary, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.